In today's class, we'll learn about problems on solution of linear differential equation using Laplace transform. The problem is solve the following initial value problem by using Laplace transform d square y upon dt square plus 4 times dy by dt plus 4y equal to e raised to minus t. Given that y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0. The solution of this problem we'll see now. The problem is solve the following initial value problem by using Laplace transform d square y upon dt square plus 4 times dy by dt plus 4y is equal to e raised to minus t y of 0 is equal to 0 y dash of 0 is equal to 0. So this is the expression uh, we will see the solution here. So given differential equation is d square y upon dt square plus 4 times dy by dt plus 4y is equal to e raised to minus t and the initial value problem is that is initial condition is y of 0 is 0 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0. So this will convert in first symbolically so this is nothing but y double dash of t plus 4 times y dash of t plus 4 y of t is equal to e raised to minus t. So once we take this, take Laplace transform on both sides that is L. So L of y double dash of t plus 4 is a constant, L of y dash of t plus 4 is a constant, L of y of t is equal to L of e raised to minus t. So we have taken Laplace transform on both sides. So the first one is what here. So we need to apply uh, expression for L of y double dash of t and uh, we need to apply expression for L of y dash of t. So we will write the expression. So expression for L of y double dash of t is s square because what double dash means s square will come L of y of t minus one less of this that is s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. This is the expression for L of y double dash of t plus 4 is a constant bracket. Expression for L of y dash of t is s into L of y of t minus y of 0. Okay, so plus last term as it is that is 4 times L of y of t is equal to Laplace transform of e raised to minus t is nothing but 1 upon s plus 1. So we are not applying, we are applying Laplace, trans, Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t is 1 upon s plus a. So therefore, so it is nothing but Laplace transform of e raised to minus t is nothing but 1 upon s plus 1. Now we will simplify. So sim while simplifying, we will take the condition. So by condition so what is the condition here y of 0 is 0 and y dash of 0 is 0 so these are the two conditions we will apply in the above expression and we will make the solution simple so s square into l of y of t as it is minus y of 0 is 0 means s into 0 is 0 minus y dash of 0 is 0 so this second expression also is 0 plus 4 times open 4 into first term 4 into s into l of y of t plus into plus minus is minus 4 into y dash of 0 that is again what here y dash, sorry 4 into y of 0 is 0 itself next plus 4 into L of Y of T as it is equal to 1 upon S plus 1. So, we will see what happens here. So, first term 
and this what underlined I have made. So here you can uh, find that L of Y of T is common. So, so if you take common S square plus coefficients will uh, collect it. 4S plus 4. If you take uh, one side, so L of Y of T is common for all and remaining uh, in the left hand side we have not left anything because all are 0. Right hand side we have the term 1 upon S plus 1. So again, so shift this bracket to the right hand side. So therefore, L of Y of T is equal to 1 divided by, already we have what here? S plus 1. So this bracket also will go here. It will become S square plus 4S plus 4. So again, we will simplify. Shift this L to the right hand side. So Y of T is equal to L inverse of 1 divided by s plus 1 s square plus 4s plus 4 so again so this is of the form what here either convolution theorem we need to apply we can apply or we can go for what here partial fraction method so we'll see we'll decide what will which one is easy right now so equation 1 will keep as it is again the right hand side of this equation 1 We'll simplify separately, we'll substitute here and we'll get the value of what here? Y of t. So what is the right hand side uh, result? Simplification and what is inverse Laplace transform? We'll see now. Now, so we'll pick this one. That is 1 upon s plus 1 s square plus 4s plus 4 which is nothing but 1 upon s plus 1 so this is a square plus 2as plus uh, b square form. This is nothing but s plus a. a value is 2. So s plus 2 whole square. This is of the form a square plus 2as plus b square. So a plus b whole square form. So which is nothing but s plus 2. So we can go better what here. Either you can go by convolution theorem or partial fraction. So right now I will simplify this by using uh, partial fraction here. So here... Uh, what I will do which is nothing but 1 upon s plus 1 s square plus 4s plus 4 is equal to a divided by s plus 1 plus b divided by among this one bracket that is s plus 2 and c divided by s plus 2 square so we rewrite we have to arrange this uh, in the partial fraction so on taking lcm so denominators will cancel and we'll get this as 1 is equal to a into s plus 2 square plus b into s plus 1 s plus 2 plus c into s plus 1 so therefore we'll simplify by putting the values so put s is equal to minus 1 first we'll uh, apply if you put s is equal to minus 1 so we'll get here as 1 so if you put s is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 cancel b will vanish c will vanish we'll get a as a into minus 1 plus 2 square which is nothing but 1 is minus 1 plus 2 is what here 1 1 square is 1 so a is 1 or I can say that the value of a is what here 1 next put s is equal to minus 2 if you put s is equal to minus 2 we'll get what here 1 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 0 0 square into a is 0 we'll leave it minus 2 means b will vanish we will get c value directly so c into minus 2 plus 1 or i can say that 1 is equal to minus 2 plus 1 is nothing but minus c or c is equal to minus 1 so we got a value and c values to get the value of b what we'll do here we don't have any other option so you can choose uh, s is equal to 0 that is better so which is nothing but 1 is equal to if you put uh, s is equal to 0, 0 plus 2 is what here? Uh, 2, 2 square is 4. So 4a 
then if you put s is equal to 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 into 1 is 2, so we'll get uh, 2b. And if you put uh, s is equal to 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 into c is what here? c. So therefore, 1 is equal to, we don't know the value of a, but we, we know the value of b, b is, uh, sorry, uh, here, uh, 1, we know the value of a, that is 4 into 1, we don't know the value of b, keep as it is, and we know the value of c is minus 1. So therefore, on simplification, we'll get b is equal to, we'll get it as what here, minus 1 on simplification. So therefore, we got the value of a as 1, c minus 1, and b as what here, minus 1. So therefore, our result will become 1 upon s plus 1 into s square plus 4s plus 4 is nothing but a divided by a value is 1. 1 divided by one divided by s plus 1. Then b value is minus. So minus 1 divided by s plus 2. And value of c is minus again. So minus 1 divided by s plus 2 square. So take Laplace inverse on both sides. So Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus 1 s square plus 4s plus 4 is equal to Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus 1 minus Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus 2 Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus 2 square. So which is nothing but so inverse Laplace of 1 upon s, minus s plus 1 is e raised to minus t. Inverse Laplace of 1 upon s plus 2 is what here? e raised to minus 2t. Next, here it is a shifting property. Here the value of a is minus 2. So inverse Laplace shifting property we need to apply minus e raised to minus 2t into inverse Laplace of s plus 2 changes to what here? s. It will become 1 upon s square. So therefore e raised to minus t minus e raised to minus 2t minus e raised to minus 2t into inverse Laplace of 1 upon s square. So 1 upon s square can be written as 1 plus 1. Value of n is 1. So t raised to 1 upon 1 factorial. So therefore we can conclude this one as e raised to minus t. So among this we will take a minus and e raised to minus 2t common we will get 1 plus t. So therefore our equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes y of t is equal to right hand side of uh, result is nothing but uh, this what we got that is e raised to minus t minus 1 plus t into e raised to minus 2t so this is the required solution of given differential equation using laplace transform method